Hello, Rodney Warren here, Team GEM member, and today I want to talk to you about something very important, and it's creating goals for yourself. So when you get into the Enagic business and you're doing your thing, you're going to hit some roadblocks and stuff, and so you really need to be inspired and, and just like have things go roll off you like a duck's back. You're dealing with so many people and so many attitudes and so many education or miseducation that uh, it's really hard to hit home and be focused sometimes. But you know like Earl Nightingale says about goals, he says this, you can have a ship leaving a harbor, it's got a destination point, it's got a captain and crew at the helm, and 99.9 thousand out of 10,000 times that ship is going to hit its destination point. But now let's take the next ship, no guided point, no destination, no captain or crew at the helm, it's pretty safe to say that if that ship leaves the harbor at all, it may just end up on the beach a derelict. And it's so true, you have to know where you're going. So what is it that you really want out of life? It's something different for everybody. But whatever it is for you, I encourage you to just add some life to that goal. Um, you know, if it's sitting on a, a beach in Hawaii with your toes in the hot sand as the nice cool ocean breeze blows across your face and across your tanned body and you're with the person you love, perhaps you're getting into that Ferrari, that smell of the leather, the soft seats, the power you feel and just the emotions you feel driving it. This is how I want you to approach your goal. How does it feel to you? Now you can go on and you can make a three month, a six month, a one year goal. Perfect. But have some destination and some aiming point. And actually, you know, maybe it's I'm sitting at my computer and I hear the ring of the bell of the computer warning me that I just received another commission check. How do you feel? Are you looking over the balcony, looking over the lake, the breeze blowing into your hair? And so give it some real tangible feeling, okay? Um, it says, ask and you shall receive, of course. And I, I call it, my brother taught me this, he, he called it top-down thinking once. He said, take where you want to be and then reverse engineer it and actually give emotion and feeling to how you feel when you've achieved your goal. So, what is your goals? Make a three-month goal. Let's write goals up here. Two. Maybe a six-month goal. and then a one year goal, 12 months. And I might just add, never start your day, never start your week, and never start your month until it's already been completed in your mind. So when you get up in the morning, you have power. You're not at the whim of somebody saying, you know, uh, you know, we, some people just get up and the first thing they do, they're into their email box, and now they're at the mercy of the people and you're at, under the control of the people sending you 1,400 emails. Have some control of your day. The night before, know exactly what you're going to do. Pre-plan everything out. So, I hope this helps. It's just a short video to get you thinking. And as you run across the internet, you're going to hear all kinds of people talk about all kinds of ways to achieve goals. But I just encourage you today to have that aiming point and to fulfill your goal with emotion and think of it as already being achieved, okay? And I hope this is helpful. Again, my name is Rodney Warren. I'm the Team Gem Leader, and I want to encourage you to live with compassion, give generously, and seize life's golden opportunities. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.